Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So I've got another play for you today to start to incorporate into your matches. Call it the double down play. And what it's going to involve is two down the line shots on my part, hopefully that set up the end of the rally. As many of you know, I prefer my forehand over my backhand. So where I find this play to be really helpful is when I get in a cross court to cross court rally with marks in my back end, okay? And I know that it's very common, not just from myself, but from other coaches out there, for you guys in singles to work cross court, work cross court, work cross court, wait for the short ball, start to attack. That is just kind of singles 101 strategy. In this scenario, because I don't like my backhand as much as my forehand, if I get in a cross court rally with Mark, I've got to look to switch this up because I don't just want to wait out my backhand to see when the short ball comes, okay? So let's have a look real quick at a cross court rally, backhand to backhand with Mark. Okay, and right there is where I'm talking about. We're now five or six shots in. I don't want that thing going another four or five balls with my backhand just trying to stay steady. It's just not my style of play. So at that point, I'm gonna start to go down the line with my backhand. Now, as many of you know, I think the down the line backhand super aggressively is a hit or miss play, and we probably miss it more often then we make it. So I'm definitely not telling you that that is the time that we just go to crack a winner down the line. But at the same time, if I'm too conservative, I'm swinging Mark over to his forehand side. So if I just hit it up the line specifically for placement, a lot of times I might be a little too conservative and now he steps up and pops a forehand for a winner. So I need kind of that Goldilocks ball, that perfect ball that's got a decent blend of height, spin, and depth without the mentality that I'm going for a winner, okay? And then I think the assumption here is that if I keep Mark back in that corner, Mark, you would agree, I think you're going cross court with that next ball, for sure, okay? So there's my second down the line ball, the double down ball. I come out of this corner, I can assume he's going cross court, I step up into this half of the court, and I take my next ball into his backhand. Down the line with my forehand, hopefully for a winner, but worst case scenario, I feel like a big forehand down the line to his backhand is gonna net me some sort of put away within the next shot or two. All right, so let's take a look at that double down play. Here we go. Cross court to cross court with the backhand. Oh. All right, there was a good example. I didn't put the forehand away, but I got my short ball put away on the next shot. Most likely, I probably need a little more height than depth out of that down the line backhand to make me really trust this play. I think you guys recognize that. When you go down the line, especially off the backhand, if it's low, and a little bit flat, you might make it, but you're not gonna trust it. So let's create some good height, good spin, good depth up that line, and then look for that second down the line ball to start to end that rally, okay? So I hope that was really helpful for you guys. That's all I got for you today. Please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video You'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.